Hey everybody, it is me, Andrea Chalmers. I'm going to move this, hopefully, out of the way. Let's see, there we go, we'll just do it like that. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about when we do research on the internet, when we're buying products. We all do it, we all go on the internet, and we research the hell out of the stuff that we buy. At least I do, and pretty much everybody I know does. The problem with the internet is it's very unregulated. People can say anything they want and they can say, claim it as the truth on their websites. Now, when you're going to purchase something expensive, and I'm gonna use specifically a water ionizer, as you guys all know, I am a huge advocate of my Enagic water machine. I would do a ton of research prior to making a huge purchase like that. Would you? Sometimes something that is a little bit cheaper, a little bit cheaper is not always better. And so I want to just go over a few things here because um, you see a ton of competition out there for these water ionizers and a lot of them are actually bashing Enagic's quality and as distasteful that is in marketing, I'm not gonna go there, but I will state some facts and you guys can make your own choices upon the facts that I provide for you. Got it? Cool. Sorry about the light. I'm gonna keep trying to like move so I like don't get in the way. So let's start with the first thing first. For water ionizing machines, there is a standard that they need to meet to be part of the Water Quality Association. And Enagic is the only only water ionizer in the world, on the planet, in the universe, that holds the gold standard in the Water Quality Association. None of these other water ionizers do. They don't come close. I'm gonna post the link for the Water Quality Association so you can do your due diligence and see what kind of qualifications these machines need to have, what the water needs to have to even be certified in any way through the Water Quality Association. The thing here I wanna mention as well is these water machines, these Enagic water machines, they pre create high alkaline water and strong acidic water or strong alkaline water, strong acidic water. That's what's cleaning your fruits and vegetables. If you watch my videos, this is equally important. You don't want to be eating your fruits and vegetables with all these freaking pesticides all over them. And also the strong acidic water replaces almost every freaking cleaner in your house. Like these machines are not making that. So that alone, the amount of money you save on that, there is so many different, um, ways to use the waters with Enagic versus just buying a water ionizer for drinking purposes. First, the water quality, gold seal standard, it's through Enagic. These water machines are used in Japanese hospitals. That's how good they are. That's how important these certifications are for these water ionizers. No other machines are being used in hospitals. They just don't meet that quality. They don't come close. So there's that. You'll see these other ionizers talking about lifetime warranties. Not all of them, but some competitors that really like to bash Enagic will say that they have a lifetime warranty. Go into the Better Business Bureau. See how people are really dealing with these lifetime warranties. Enagic is uh, accredited by the Better Business Bureau. These other companies are not. <laughs> Should you be spending a couple thousand dollars on a water ionizer, I'd want to know that I am being served at the highest standard, right? Better Business Bureau deals with standards, service standards. And if they're not being backed by them, you can pretty much guarantee that their service is <clears throat> So, leave you at that one. Um, one other thing, actually a couple other things here. Um, Enagic, we know it's made in Japan. Right? I've been, I worked in the automotive industry for 12 years. I was a service advisor, so I dealt with a lot of car repairs. And I can tell you one thing, 
and this is just from my personal experience and maybe other people's as well that are very like car buffs and know quite a bit about vehicles and the quality of vehicles versus other vehicles and this has nothing to do with anything uh, being racist or anything i'm not i'm just talking about quality and where the quality usually lies and if we're going to start comparing um where machines are made where majority of these other machines are made korea and china versus Enagic, where they're made in Japan. We're talking here, if we're comparing in cars, we're talking Hyundai's to Lexus's, right? Toyota's, like, the Japanese hold the highest, highest quality. They do, when they build something, when with their technology, all of that kind of stuff, they hold a high standard and pride in their workmanship. And that is no secret. I'm not, I don't mean it this in any other sort of way other than they take huge pride in their quality. Places like Korea and China are really good at um, trying to duplicate and cut corners and make a cheaper product of a better version or a better, a better product. So I want to leave you guys with that because that is, again, you guys can do your own due diligence on that, but when it comes to why these water machines are actually um, certified with the gold standard, there's a huge reason why, because the way that these machines are made are backed by the highest quality, the highest quality. So I um, don't wanna go much further into that. You guys know if you're watching this, right, you can do your due diligence on checking um, the quality of how machines are made, I can show you, I'll put a link at the bottom here too of how these machines are made and how they're all tested prior to even leaving, why they hold such a high standard upon everybody else. Like I said, these machines are used in hospitals. They're not going to be going with some knockoff brand in a hospital. They're going to go with the best. Why are we buying these machines? We're buying them because we want the best health possible. We want to be drinking the best water possible. We want to be able to know that our money is going to good use. <laughs> so um, one other thing I wanna to talk to you guys about here, and a lot of these water ionizer companies are not gonna tell you this, is that yes, they are water ionizers, but they use, um, what is it called, coral calcium in their filters to boost the pH level. So what happens is the pH level when you first pour the water will be high, but will quickly, rapidly drop back down to its regular, regular alkalinity. When you use your Enagic water machine, that in water, the pH level will hold for a lot longer. Now with all ionized water over time, it does go back to its regular alkalinity. Um, got about like four days on it. That's why when we do the water sharing with people, we try to keep it around four days before providing them with new water because we always want them to have the highest quality of water. We don't want them to be drinking dead water. Um, so there's a few things here, right, that you guys want to uh, take into consideration because like I said, like these machines are not, um, they're a big purchase. They're becoming a household name uh, more and more people are having water ionizers in their homes and it's so easy to get caught up on the internet with false claims and people bashing other companies and this was not the intent of my video was to bash anybody but there somebody needs to say something about these companies when they're trying to deflect you from proven facts, certifications, quality. Um, they don't need to do that. They, the best, if there's something that is the best already, they do not need to go and bash anything. They don't need to bash the competitors because they're already the best. And Agic would never do that. I'm just stating the facts of what is out there because so many people are being misled and these this is not like going and buying like a cheeseburger. 
you're going and buying a water machine, like water ionizer, it's a couple thousand dollars. Like if you're going to be spending your money, you want to know the facts because there's so many people disappointed when they purchase these other machines because they're not getting the health benefits that they thought they would be getting because these machines are not certified. They don't hold the value that um, is required. So my tip to you guys, if you don't have the money to purchase a water ionizer and you are looking for a cheap alternative to it, I would say save your money. Don't waste your money. Save up if you really want one and get the right one. Get the ones that are being used in hospitals, the ones that are certified by the Water Quality Association. Save your money to get the right stuff because you're only going to be disappointed with the lack of results that you're going to receive from these other machines. And again, I'm going to put uh, the links in here so you guys can see for yourself. And yeah. You know, the internet's a crazy thing. Like I could post this on here and it could all be bullshit, but I'm gonna put the links on here so that you guys could go and do your due diligence yourself and see the facts of what is actually being backed up, right? Like it's important for people to get the right information and by Googling things and YouTubing things, you don't always get the right answers. You'll get the answers maybe that you're looking for, but they're not always correct. There might not be the truth. So if you want the truth, you got to look for the source. You got to find the right stuff. Fact sourcing. The only way to do it is to actually look for the certifications and look for reviews and basically the science behind it. So leave you guys at that. Have a great day and we'll be talking again soon.